Hi, welcome back to MS Excel 2013 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how to go about changing the look of our text. In other words, changing our fonts. How do we change the fonts? Well, first of all, what are fonts? As you can see here, all my text are fonts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to go in and modify them. Do that, I select the text that I want to change and I go up here to my font group which is on my home ribbon and we start off right at the top. First of all if I move my mouse cursor to the drop down list over here that is my font selection box. Once I've clicked on it as you notice it brings up all these different fonts over here. As I scroll down you can see the different ones. But what's nice about this is I can actually go in and without changing the font using my live preview I can go down and I can see what the font is going to look like before I actually change it. So there, once I've selected the font that I want, notice how it's gone and changed it. Next is the size. As you can see here, I've got a standard size of 11, which is by default. If I want to change that size, I can either type the value in to the selection box over here and push enter and it'll change it. Or alternatively, I can go down through here and as you can see it's growing showing me what the sizes mean. Once I find the size that I want click on it and automatically it has now gone and applied that size to my spreadsheet as well. Right, next to the right of the size box I've got a capital A and a small a. That is for growing or increasing the size of the font. Now, when I click on that button once, notice how it increases the size of the font. So if I'm not sure of the actual figure size on the left-hand side over here, all I need to do is grow it until it gets to the size that I want. If it gets too big and I want to reduce it, I go to the Reduce button over here, and I click on it until I get the correct size. On the bottom row over here, we've got Bold. By clicking on Bold, you'll notice that it changes my figures to darker. That, in, that will show us or make it stand out even better within the spreadsheet. As you can see I've done now. Italic, that also bring in, brings emphasis to the text. Notice when I click on italic how it shifts the text slightly to the side. If I want to underline something, I select the text that I want to underline, click the underline button, and notice how it's gone and underlined the text that I've got there. I can take the underlining off. Notice how it's on. Select it to take it off. Once I've got a selection actually made, how will I know whether that selection is showing or not? Well, very simple. If these buttons are illuminated as they are now, that shows that that specific function or tool has been used. As you'll notice around the table and throughout the table I've got borders showing the sides of each cell. Now should I want to remove any of these borders I can do so by using the border tool on the in the font group. I click on the drop down list and as you can see there all the list of different borders that I can add or remove. Notice I've now gone in and I've changed it. I've put a thick border on the outside. To the right of the border tool, we've got our fill tool. What the fill tool allows us to do, allows us to go in and fill the table with color. I can do the rows. And there we have color added to our spreadsheet as well, to our cells. If I want to change the text color, what I do is select the text that I want to change the text color to, go to the text color button, click on the drop down list, and I can now go in and I can find the color that I want. If I do not find the color here that I'm looking for, what I can do is I can actually go in to more colors over here 
and choose the color from the color palette. Right, just to go back and change the color, we're now going to go and make our colors nice dark green. You may have noticed at the bottom of the font group over here, there's a little button with an arrow on it. This is what I'm showing you now. This is known as the launch button. If I click the launch button, it brings up my font dialog box. What we've done here on the ribbon in the font group can be done in this dialog box and more. You'll notice that so there's a number of different groups on the ribbon that are featured here as well, such as number, alignments, and so on. I, whatever ever I do within the font group, I can do here. I can go in, I can change my font, I can change my font color, I can change my font size, and there, all our fonts have been changed. Right, we've reached the end of this module, this video. What I'd like you to do now is go and select your spreadsheet and make some changes to the fonts by changing the font style, the font size, the font color, making it bold, italic and underlined, filling the cells and also changing the main font color. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one.